In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a guitar and vocals at the same time using GarageBand. Firstly, plug in the female end of the mic cable into the microphone and the male end into input one of your audio interface, which might be the PreSonus AudioBox 96, or in my case, it's the SSL2+. It's good practice to have the gain set to zero and then turn them up when you're setting your levels inside GarageBand. Next, plug in the instrument cable into your guitar and the other end into input two of the audio interface. It is good practice when recording vocals to use the headphones, not speakers, so you don't create feedback. So have the mains output to the speakers turned to zero and the main headphone output turned up. The headphone output is on the back of the PreSonus AudioBox 96. If you are using a condenser mic that looks like this, you'll need to have the phantom power button pushed in. If you're using a dynamic mic, which looks like this, you don't need the phantom power pushed in. When you open GarageBand and select new, you should get the option to start a new project or empty project. So we choose to open that. We'll select the microphone, input one, and hit create. Now we'll see this. Now we'll hit the plus icon, and choose guitar, set to input two, and hit create. It automatically populates with electric guitar options. To change that, you come down to this menu and select acoustic guitar. Now I'm gonna choose natural stereo. The presets in GarageBand are very reliable. So for the vocals, I would also choose voice. And just for this exercise, I'm gonna do natural vocal. Due to recording this tutorial, I have already turned up the mic gain on input one. The microphone that I'm talking into is plugged into input one, and we can see it registering here in the natural vocal channel. If you wanna hear it through the headphones, you click the input monitoring button. The level coming in is actually set perfectly. But if I was to turn gain input down, you can see that the level drops quite significantly and it gets quieter. You want the level to be in the green and maybe just touching into the yellow, but if it goes into the red, like the so, you will get clipping, which sounds horrible. You want it bouncing around the three quarter mark to be a good level. Likewise with the guitar, select the guitar channel. That's already coming in at a good level. If it's too quiet, you need to turn up the gain. If it's already too loud and your gain is at zero, you might need to turn down your guitar on your guitar volume. To hear the guitar through your headphones, you select the input monitoring button on the guitar channel. Now, if you want to tune your guitar, you can click the tuning fork down in this corner. And that will give you the tuner. By default, the counting of four beats is selected. You can change that to one bar or two bars, but I'll leave it at one bar. And we have the metronome selected. We have 120 BPM selected. So you can double click on that and type in whatever you like. It's also set to 4-4, which you can change to any other time signature or make a custom one, but 4-4 is fine. And we've chosen C major. We can stick with that. But we cannot choose both channels at the same time and if we hit record we are only recording one channel the vocal channel which is not what we want so in order to fix that we go up to track configure track header click on record enable now we can just click away from that and now we have this extra button on each channel. So we click that, we click that circle there. Now both channels are record enabled. So when we hit record, both channels are recording. Now we have vocals and guitar at the same time. 